Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make the most delicious tamales de chile verde. So in case you guys don't know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so we're going to begin by prepping our meat. I'm going to be using my Instant Pot. To that we're going to add seven pounds of pork shoulder. This one still has the bone. So then I'm going to add one whole onion, one head of garlic, four bay leaves, and salt. Now we're just going to cover our meat with water. So that was about 10 cups. We're going to close it. Make sure that it's set on ceiling. We're going to be using the meat setting and allow it to cook for one hour and a half. Okay, so once our meat is done, we're going to allow it to sit for 20 minutes. Okay, so while we wait, we're going to bring to a boil 15 tomatillos and five chile serranos. Once our chile and tomatillos come to a boil, we're going to turn it off and transfer them to our blender cup. Okay, so once we have that, now we can get ready to make our sauce. Okay, so after 20 minutes, we're going to release any leftover steam. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to remove our meat. Okay, so we're going to get our meat out. It should be nice and tender. Okay, so once we have our meat out, we're going to allow it to cool down a little bit so like that it's easier for us to shred it. As for the broth, we're going to strain it and we serve it. So just be very careful. For our blender cup, we're also going to add four garlic cloves, three whole cloves, a half of a small white onion, six roasted and peeled Anaheim peppers or hatch, a handful of cilantro. We're going to add chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of whole black pepper, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and salt. And now we're just going to blend until we have a smooth sauce. Okay, so once we have our green sauce, we're going to set it to the side and get ready to shred our meat. And the meat should be able to shred very easy. I'm just going to remove the bone and of course, some of the fat. Okay, so as we have our meat all nice and shredded, now we are ready to put it together with our sauce. Okay, so we're going to get our frying pan, set it on medium high heat, add a little bit of oil, and allow it to heat up. Okay, so once it heats up, we're going to add our sauce. I'm going to add some of the broth to my blender cup, about three quarters of a cup. Okay, so we're going to reduce the heat to medium low and bring it to a simmer. Okay, so once it comes to a simmer, taste it for salt and see if you want to add any more. For me, it's perfect. So I'm just going to reserve some of the sauce so I can use it at the end once my tamales are ready. Okay, and now we can get ready to add our meat. Okay, so once we have incorporated our meat with our sauce, now we're just going to wait for it to simmer again. Okay, so once it comes to a simmer, we're going to turn it off and just allow it to cool down. Meanwhile, we can make our masa for the tamales. Okay guys, so to make the masa, I'm going to be using my stand mixer just because it's so much easier. So to my mixer, I'm going to add one cup and a half of lard and we're going to beat it on medium speed for five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to reduce the speed and now we're going to add five teaspoons of baking powder. And we're going to be using six cups of masa for tamales. But we're going to be adding it slowly. Okay, so after seven cups of broth, this is what our masa should look like. So now we're going to speed it up on medium setting and allow it to mix for 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, so after 15 minutes, we're going to test our masa. So just grab a little piece and we're going to throw it into a cup of water. Make sure that it is the room temperature. and it's not ready, it has to flow. So we're just going to add a little bit more broth, just a little bit, and then we're going to continue mixing for two minutes. And we're going to repeat the process until our masa floats. All right, you guys, so I added an additional one cup and a half of broth, so now we're just going to test it. As you can see, it looks nice and fluffy now, so let's see. And there it goes. Our masa is ready, so that means we're going to have moist tamales. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the hook, and we're going to allow our masa to rest. Make sure you get all of the masa. 
Okay, so I'm just going to cover it and allow it to rest. Meanwhile, we can get our steamer pot ready. Okay, so I got my steamer pot here and I covered the bottom with water. Now I'm just going to add some corn husk and place them on the bottom so like that my tamales don't get wet. Couldn't find a bigger pot. So once we have our steamer pot ready, now we can get ready to make our tamales. Okay, so my corn husk has been soaking overnight, so make sure that you have them ready. And now we're just going to get the soft side. We're going to get our masa. And to spread it, you can use a spatula, a spoon, or a little pastry cutter, and just spread it. Just like that. And we'll repeat the process until we no longer have any masa. All right, guys, so once we have our corn husk ready, now we're going to grab our meat. We're going to get ready to stuff our tamales. So make sure you add a good amount of meat. And just spread it in the center. We're going to grab one end, overlap it, cover the meat, grab the other end, and then grab the tail, fold it up, and just like that you have your tamal. Now we're going to repeat the same process to all of our corn husk. Okay guys, so once we have our tamales all nice and stuffed, now we are ready to place them in our steamer pot. And you place them however works best for you. I'm going to be placing them in circles. So just grab them and arrange them. And I got about 40 tamales. But of course, it's all going to depend on how small and how big you make them. And I just made them, I think, regular sizes. All right, guys, so once we have our tamales in our steamer pod, now we're going to cover them. I'm going to be using a kitchen towel along with the lid. Okay, now we're going to turn up the heat to medium, and we're going to allow our tamales to cook for two to three hours. All right, you guys, so my tamales have been cooking for two hours. So at this point, we're going to check them. Just be careful because it is a very hot. Give it with the steam. And oh yeah, they look done. Okay, so we're going to get one tamal. And you're going to know that tamales are done once the masa comes out of the husk. Like it peels apart. But they, the masa is still very hot so we're going to allow it to sit. So I'm just going to remove them from the pot and give it about 15 minutes so the masa can sit real well. And then we can get ready to serve. Alrighty guys, so once we get our tamales out, we're going to allow them to sit for 15 minutes. Okay guys, so after 15 minutes, the masa should have set now. So now we can get ready for the fun part. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I am so ready, let me tell you that. We've been waiting for this time and it's finally here. But look at the tamal, see? Look at that. Mm. Okay, and I'm just going to top it with a little crema mexicana. And of course, the salsa that we reserve. But just like that, we are ready to enjoy our delicious tamales verdes. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now I am so ready, you guys. Let me tell you that we love tamales, especially when I make them. <laughs> but I hope you give them a try. It's honestly super easy. It's time consuming, you know, but if you got the extra hands, let me tell you that you'll be just fine. Uh, and let me tell you that it is very important for your masa to float. Okay, that's going to make sure that your masa, it's honestly the best. It's fluffy, soft, and moist. So hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. And of course, a good tamal has to have the good feeling. This is perfect. So flavorful. The meat, so tender. And you know, the masa being so moist and so soft is perfect. The best tamal. 
and you don't have to you know chug it with anything of course the soda can't forget that but it's honestly not necessary mm. so good got the kids waiting <laughs> <laughs> they're ready too alrighty guys and there you have it on how to make the most delicious tamales de chile verde I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up share with your friends and family and if you record this recipe please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias and if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video bye